Smile by Raina Telgemeier. Chapter 6 The summer between 7th and 8th grade was mostly uneventful. The weather was cold, like always, so I stayed inside a lot. Flounder, don't be such a guppy. Pretended I'd given Sean my phone number. Hello? Yes, this is Raina. Sean? Mooned over a certain someone's picture and avoided the obvious. Honey, it really is time you started wearing some sort of bra. Mom! As my teeth moved closer together, the fake teeth in the empty space were shaved down little by little. By the time eighth grade started, the two fake teeth had been replaced by one fake tooth. I just hoped no one could tell. Girl, you need to start using a better hair conditioner. My brother has that shirt. It's kind of a boy shirt. Eighth grade was weird. We were all going through puberty and at different rates. Hair suddenly curly, taller, hips wider, chest got huge, acne, gloomy. Everyone was preoccupied. Makeup, hair, clothes, pimples, dieting, etc. Whatever happened to talking about cartoons? But the boys seemed to notice and acted accordingly. Whooping! The only boy who didn't seem to notice what was going on was, well, guess. Sean's never going to pay attention to you. He's too much of a basketball brain. If it doesn't have to do with three-pointers or Michael Jordan, he isn't interested. Girls basketball team. Tryouts today. You want to try out for the team? Sure. Drop and give me 25 push-ups. 12, 13, 14. Ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. Wang. Whish. I think I'm doing <sighs> gas pant pretty good. Aptos Tigers Go. Boys Locker Room. Girls Locker Room. Wow, that was really hard. I'm beat. Hello. Slam dunk! The next day. Poke. Girls basketball team. 1990 to 1991. Number one, Charmaine Lopez. Number two, Kiki Green. Number three, Shauna Chang. Number four, Elizabeth Wong. Number five, Rita Begonia. Number six, Esther Mendoza. Number seven, Cherise Campbell. Number eight, Tanya Benz Oritz. Number nine, Chantal Marie Evans. Number 10, Yasmin Gutierrez. Number 11, Sylvia Ormondo. Number 12, Letty Peng. Alternatives, Sharita Johnson, Ellen Grace, Louisa Lee, Ali Suzuki, Candace O'Brien. Shoot. So, how was school, Raina? It was okay. I tried out for the basketball team, but I didn't make it. Basketball? Why, that's... Since when have you been interested in sports? It might be a good thing you didn't make the team. Basketball might have been too dangerous. Why? You could have knocked your teeth out all over again. So, you didn't make the basketball team. Big deal. Are you even that into sports anyway? I guess not but I've got to do something to get Sean to notice me. You should draw him a picture. You're good at art. What? No way. What would I draw? What would he do with it? What if I... Telgemeier, I'll take that. Mr. Fischetti, it's not what it looks like. Please don't. Blah, 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 basketball, blah, 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 drawing, blah, 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 Sean. Who's Sean? Ah! Well, you wanted to get noticed, right? In the future, Miss Telgemeier, please don't pass notes during my class. That goes for you too, Melissa. 
I can't believe that just happened. I was so embarrassed. Hey, at least Sean isn't in Mr. F's class with us. But now everyone knows I like him. What if they're all telling him right now? Uh, what if nobody cares? Well, that would really suck. My crush on Sean was old news to everyone else, but it still consumed my thoughts a lot of the time. Fifteen, thirty-six, Sean. However, something interesting was starting to happen. Hey, Raina. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Edward. You going to lunch? Yeah, wait up. Some of my friends had kind of, sort of, maybe boyfriends. Boys who would hang around with us during lunchtime and who would invite their other friends along. Not all of them were cute, and not all of them were very mature. Wait, what's this next to my peanut butter sandwich? Yar, Spider! Ay! Rubber. But they were good for practice flirting. Shove. Maybe I liked a few of them, and maybe a few of them liked me. It wasn't that important. Psst! What's the answer to number six? I'm not telling you. None of them were Sean. But boys were good for video game tips. Boys didn't give me any flack about my appearance. Ever think about tooth whitening, Raina? It might be a good idea for you. And they were willing to talk about important issues. So, are you guys ready for high school? High school? Man, it's hard to believe we're graduating from 8th grade in one month. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll all join me at my house next weekend for the end of school party to end all parties. Cool. Thanks, Juan. Parties presented a slight problem now that I was friends with boys. Hey, everyone. Who wants to play Spin the Bottle? Gulp. And so, my turn. Go on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nicole! Ah! Ah! Peck. Blech! Gross! Ugh! Pachooey! Pachooey! Your turn, Jenny. Hee <laughs> hee. You have to kiss Andrew. <laughs> Ew, gross! Hey! Come on, Raina. It's your turn. Spin the bottle. I think I'll pass. Huh? I don't get it. How come you wouldn't spin the bottle earlier? You saw how everyone was acting. Anybody who had to kiss screamed ew and gross after. Crunch. I don't need some boy to yell about how disgusted he was to have to kiss me. Besides, why would I want my first kiss to be with any of these guys? They're all so gross. The truth is, I don't want my first kiss to be perfect. The perfect guy, the perfect setting, the perfect song playing. But when I imagine all of those things, I imagine myself as being perfect too. Hair, teeth, skin, body. And I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Well, good news, Raina. Your top teeth are moving together nicely. Soon we'll be able to remove this little fake tooth in the center and we'll put bonding over your new front teeth so they look normal. You do have a lot of gum damage, though. Let's make you an appointment with the periodontist. He might be able to help with that. I didn't even know there were this many kinds of dentists. At the periodontist a week later. Yep, your gums are damaged all right. The first thing you need is a scaling. A what? A deep cleaning. Bling. One shot of Novocaine and a couple of minutes later, grind, scrape. Whoa, bloody. There, gauze please. Don't fidget. You're making it worse. I was in some of the worst mouth pain of my life. Oh, could we get her a Tylenol or something? Room, spinning. Come on, you're done.
bruised, black and blue, bloody. Flop. Boom. Raina, are you okay? Honey? Did I puke? No. Here, drink some water. What just happened, doctor? Well, we did a quick deep cleaning of the gums, and I guess we didn't wait long enough for the Novocaine to work, and we could have given her laughing gas, but we didn't think she need... What? You didn't think to ask me if all that was okay first? Ma'am, please. The other patients will hear. I don't care! My daughter just fainted thanks to your negligence! Let's go, Raina, and we won't be coming back. That was pretty awesome, Mom. Aptos, class of 1991. Commencement ceremony, June 12th, 10 o'clock a.m. Aptos Middle School Auditorium. Will Raina ever get her teeth fixed? Or feel comfortable about herself? What do you think is going to happen next? Comment below.